breakfast this week, I'm making sous vide egg bites and I'm going to do a spinach and mushroom just so I can get some greens and some veggies in my egg bites. So let me show you what's in the recipe. First you're going to need eggs, light cheese of your choice, mushrooms and spinach. I will link some other options of different types of egg bites you can make, bacon and cheese, sausage and cheese, etc. But I'm going to do mushrooms and spinach. I'm actually going to use my Dash little egg bite cooker. It has little individual silicone egg bite makers. I'll link this down below. I did get it off of Amazon. Minced garlic, one third less fat cream cheese, and salt and pepper. So the first thing I'm going to do is saute my mushrooms and a big handful of spinach. I just have a pan heating up here on the stove. And while those are sauteing and cooking down, we'll put together the mixture for the egg bites. So for the egg bites, I'm going to crack six eggs into a blender. Half of a cup of light shredded cheese and a quarter cup of softened one third less fat cream cheese. Lastly, some salt and pepper. I will link the gravity fed salt and pepper grinders. I bought them off of Amazon. I'll link them down below for you. And then we're going to blend up the egg mixture. To a bowl, I'm going to add the egg mixture. And then the spinach and mushroom mix. I did add a scoop of minced garlic as well. And then stir that up, grab out a cookie scoop. I'm going to heat up my little dash egg bite maker and we'll get started cooking the egg bites. My egg maker's warmed up. I sprayed my little cups with a little nonstick cooking spray, added the egg mixture, and then go ahead and close that. When the light turns off, they are cooked through. So the first set of egg bites are done. So these are really great. All you do is pop the egg bite out of the little silicone mold. I'm going to store them in a storage container for the week and then get started on the second batch. So my egg bites are done. I have a layer down here. We'll go ahead and add these last few to the top layer. I'll probably have two of these, maybe three of these in the morning with some fruit. I've been loving my Premier Protein Pancake, so I may pair that, may pair the egg bites with that. But I will go ahead and put points, calories, macros, serving sizes, all of the information here on the screen for you. For lunch this week, I am making a barbecue meatloaf sweet potato green bean bento box meal prep so that I have a high protein, complex carb veggie packed lunch. So let me show you what's in the recipe. First you're going to need eggs, a large sweet potato or a couple medium sweet potatoes, a pound of 93 or 96% ground beef, salt and pepper, no sugar added barbecue sauce, Worcestershire sauce, breadcrumbs, butter or light butter, and then you can do fresh or canned green beans. So I added my pound of ground beef to a bowl for my barbecue meatballs. I'm going to add one egg, one quarter cup of breadcrumbs, about a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, quarter cup of barbecue sauce, and some salt. I sprayed a cookie sheet with some nonstick cooking spray, and then we're just gonna get in with our hands, mix the meatballs together, roll them out, and put them on the sheet pan. It really doesn't matter how many meatballs you get total. We'll just figure out the number per serving once we've rolled them all out. I'm going to put my meatballs in a 420 degree, 425 degree oven until cooked through. I went ahead and cooked my sweet potato in the microwave. I'm going to peel it, add all of the innards to a bowl so we can make a sweet potato mash. I'm going to add in a tablespoon of butter and then some salt and pepper. And then we're going to just mash up the sweet potatoes and set them aside. The meatballs are out of the oven. The sweet potato mash is done. The recipe makes four servings. So into a meal prep container, I'm going to add about a quarter of the sweet potatoes. I'm going to do, I think three meatballs, maybe four meatballs per meal prep. They made 14 meatballs total. And then about a half of a can or so of drained green beans. And then I'm going to drizzle a little bit of barbecue sauce over the meatballs. Well, there is what the lunch meal prep looks like. Let me go ahead and put together three more containers. So 
here is my lunch meal prep. So I have my barbecue meatball bowls with sweet potatoes, green beans. I'll probably add a little salt, pepper, maybe some butter to the green beans. I will go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. For a snack this week, I am making zucchini bars. These are clean, delicious zucchini bars. So let me show you what's in the recipe. It's only five ingredients. You're going to need peanut butter of your choice, rolled oats, chocolate chips, I'm using lilies, a zucchini, and a couple of small to medium sized bananas. So to make our zucchini bars, in a large bowl, we're adding two cups of rolled oats, half of a cup of peanut butter, about one and a quarter cups of mashed banana. Then we're adding in 200 Lily's chocolate chips and stir that together. Then we're going to add in our zucchini. I did go ahead and grate it and then I squeezed all of the moisture out and then stir that in until fully combined. I'm going to spray my eight by eight baking dish with some nonstick cooking spray. And then we're going to add our zucchini bar mixture. Spread that out nice and even into the bottom. Our bars are going into a 350 degree oven for about 18 to 25 minutes or until they're cooked through. The zucchini bars are out of the oven. These smell and look absolutely amazing. They smell so chocolatey. The great thing about zucchini is you don't taste it, but it adds a lot of moisture to what you're baking and adds that little bit of veggie. So I'm really excited for these. The pan makes eight servings. I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you.